Mrs. Burton? Yes, Eli? Is Matt home? Eli, you've been here an hour. He hasn't come in yet. Oh. Well, sometimes I don't notice things. <laughs> you want to know why I'm waiting for Matt to come home? Why? So he can shatter my foolish dreams. <laughs> what dreams? He's going to tell me about the tryouts. You know, the basketball team? You're trying out for the basketball team? Sort of. I want to be the guy that runs out on the floor and wipes up their sweat. <laughs> Matt's going to pull some strings. Hi, Mom. Hi. Matt, tell me, do I get to wipe up the sweat? They went with a hot air machine, Eli. <laughs> oh, no. We're all being replaced by automation. Pretty soon they're going to have a machine that can drink and burp. <laughs> Then what'll my dad do? <laughs> Eli, come on, you were too good for that job. It really was a lousy, unrewarding job that would have caused you public humiliation. Speaking of which, Mom, why aren't you out with Norman? <laughs> well, he had to cancel our date again. He went down to the school to discuss the PTA newsletter with Principal Ellis. Hey, Mr. Lamb's writing the newsletter? You mean he's the one responsible for the article? Parents, teachers, set clocks ahead one hour? That's right. Wow. You must be proud. It was well worth giving up a Friday night for. But fortunately, Norman's work has given me plenty of time to catch up on all my outside interests. If anybody calls, I'll be taking a nap. Gee, everybody's got something to do but me. Well, you can walk me to soccer practice. Something will turn up. No, it won't. The funny part is, I don't even want that much. Just a memory, you know? Something so that when I'm old, I look back in my yearbook, I want more than one picture in the caption he attended. <laughs> I want a nickname or anything that said that I was good at something. You're good at being my friend. Thanks, Matt, but this time it's not enough. Well, come on. We'll find you something. Oh, heck, I could sleep any time. What say the three of us? Shave my legs. <laughs> uh, Lamb, over here. Principal Ellis, I got here as soon as I could. What's so important? I had a date. I just took a look at the latest issue of the PTA newsletter, and I've got to tell you that I am not really happy with parents, teachers, set clocks ahead one hour. <laughs> but I spent a whole Friday night on yeah, that. Yeah, but, Lamb, it's bland, it's flat. It just doesn't make you want to go for those clocks. <laughs> yeah. But, Mr. Ellis... Look, I know that you've been working hard on this, and we all appreciate it. But this newsletter is our only link between the parents and the teachers. And I can't think of anything that is more important than a good, solid... Oh, man, what are they doing out there? <laughs> but, but the newsletter? That's not important, Lamb. <laughs> Will you take a look at this soccer team? I mean, the season starts in two weeks, and I have never seen them so out of shape, man. I just can't understand it. Uh, Coach, Coach Bismarck. <laughs> hey, Principal Ellis. Uh, I hate to interfere, you being the coach and all, but I am a bit concerned about the boys. Maybe you should make some changes in your training methods. Yeah? Like, uh, what? Uh, well, for starters, you could think about getting that ice cream truck off the field. <laughs> now? <laughs> Please, Otto. Okay. Hey, hey. Move it out. <laughs> oh, gee. Now, is there anything else? I uh, think what Principal Ellis would like to see is a bit more um, activity, you know, um, training, exercise. Exactly. That's what we need. Eh, okay, what the heck. 
That's it, men. Very good. <laughs> cool down now. Cool down. Uh, uh, one? Well, they have to have something left for the game, don't they? <laughs> That's it. Last year, we were zero and eleven. We could have been one and ten if someone hadn't given their halftime pep talk at the House of Pies. <laughs> sure, we all have hindsight. <laughs> uh, 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 Lamb, Lamb, you seem to have a handle on what it takes to make a good team. You are the new coach. Coach? Hey, yeah. what about me? Uh, see if you can do anything with this newsletter. I don't. Well, I'll try. Gee, this stuff looks bland. <laughs> Welcome to your new team, Lamb. I know you're going to do a good job. But I can't coach a soccer team. Ah, uh, Lamb, this could be very big for you. You could get your own parking space. Uh, you could use the teacher's bathroom. <laughs> and people would stop calling you Beanhead behind your back. Beanhead? Great. Now, look, I want to win this year, Lamb, and I want to win big. So go to it, big guy. <laughs> Who's been calling me Beanhead? I don't know, Eli. In soccer, the grass pretty much absorbs all the sweat. <laughs> oh, Norman. Hmm? Where's Coach Bismarck? Ruining my newsletter. Ellis made me the new coach of the soccer team. You? <laughs> you can't be serious. Hey, don't act so surprised. I was a pretty good athlete in school. Oh, yeah. Elroy, Crazy Legs Hirsch, Earl the Pearl Monroe, and Norman Bean Headlam. <laughs> Look, I want to know who started hey, Matt, this. How about taking over goalie for me? I can't right now, Alfred. I'm talking to our new coach. Oh. Does this mean uh, no more buffet in the locker room? <laughs> That's right. What about cheese night? <laughs> Look, Alfred, why don't you let Eli go in for you, and I'll take over in a minute. Right. Come on, Eli. I'll show you where to stand. Hey, Norman. Hmm? Since you're the new coach, I want to ask you a favor. How about putting Eli on the team? Eli? Yeah, come on. This is important to him. Let him be a part of something. The bus of life is passing him by. <laughs> you said him jump up on the back bumper? <laughs> Lovely metaphor. But I can't just put someone on the team. Oh, come on, Norman. Hey, look, remember when you were our age and you, you liked that cute little girl and she had a party and everybody was invited except you? Remember I left out your phone? <sighs> yeah, you're right. I don't remember telling you about that. <laughs> I didn't. I just figured. <laughs> Matt, Matt, I blocked some. Look, my shirt's even dirty where the ball hit me. Did you see it? I saw it. Didn't you see it, coach? Uh, yeah. Uh, say, Eli. You know, one thing I noticed about this team is its uh, lack of depth. How would you like to be second string goalie? Me? Second string? You mean like first string backup? Yeah. I'm on the team? Yeah! Matt! Matt, I'm on the team! Oh, wow, I must be dreaming! Oh. No, I'm not dreaming! <laughs> hey, guys, I'm on the team! Thanks a lot, Norm. You did the right thing. Coach! Yes, Eli? When do we get our skates? <laughs> no, Roberta, I'm just putting new paper in the kitchen cabinets. Yeah, it's just the eighth exciting weekend in a row when my son, daughter, and boyfriend are at the high school soccer game. Oh, here they are. I'll call you later. Bye-bye. So, did you win? Oh, you lost one, huh? No, we won. <laughs> well, that's great. Oh, how could you understand? <laughs> Mom, I had to cheer for Eli. <laughs> I had to say in public, Eli, Eli, he's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. <laughs> and all the time, it's running through my mind. Do what? <laughs> he doesn't even play. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi. Hi, Mrs. Burton. We're back from...
from the game. Tell her what happened, Matt. We rode a bus. <laughs> yeah, and tell her what happened in the locker room. This is a great story. Eli got snapped with a towel. <laughs> At first I was frightened, but then I realized it was male bonding. <laughs> I'm finally one of the guys. <laughs> oh, Matt, tell her about the nickname. Eli has a nickname. <laughs> yeah, they call me the wall. <laughs> I guess it's because I blocked so many shots in practice. No, Eli, it's because of the graffiti they wrote on your stomach. <laughs> Either way, it's great. Oh, Mrs. Burton, Julie's a really good cheerleader, too. I especially loved it when she said, Eli, Eli, he's my man. If I can't have him, no one can. <laughs> I feel nauseous. <laughs> I'll take that in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, Norman, hi. Hi, Eileen. Guys, ready to go? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You just got here. Oh, I know, Eileen, but uh, I got to take the team to the pizza pit for a victory meal. Well, that's great, because I haven't eaten yet. Come on, Eileen. <laughs> pizza pit's no place for a woman. <laughs> oh, no. Julie, honey, what's the matter? That was Angela. It seems that Alfred, our goalie, may have failed a test. That would make him ineligible to play. Do you know what that means? <laughs> Come on, Eli. So you'll play one game. Look, Alfred will be eligible again soon. What's one game? It's the championship. <laughs> Just another game? Even if it is the most important one. And look, there's not a person in school who isn't behind you 100%. There it is. <laughs> That's our goalie. Get out the black pom-poms. <laughs> now wait, let's be fair here. Think fast. Black may be too festive. Uh, the only thing he wouldn't miss is lunch. If only she hadn't have said, think fast. How was I supposed to think and stare at her legs at the same time? Forget about it, Eli. Well, get your mind off with some football. With three seconds to go, they're going for the winning field goal. Here comes the kicker out to the 21-yard line. It's well within his range. You see, this guy's just like you. He doesn't play much, but when he does come in, he's got a moment to remember for the rest of his life. Yeah. Now, this is you, Eli. The ball is snapped, and it's up. It's short and wide to the left. No good! <laughs> oh, he choked. Man, he'll remember this for the rest of his life. <laughs> Now, see, that guy kept the ball from going in the goal, just like you'll do. <laughs> okay, guys. With Alfred out, we got to come up with some new strategy. I want to show you some new plays I worked out. What do you think? The little X's are them, the little O's are us. Well, what's that great big O? <laughs> That's you, Eli. Well, why are all the little O's forming a ring around me? Uh, well, uh, that's because that's called your, uh, lot of little O's around the big O defense. <laughs> They're protecting you, the most important player on the team. Norman, I thought I heard your voice. Well, it's okay, Eileen. I just came over to talk to the boys. Oh, well, then I'll just go back to my room, all alone. Unless you want me to stay. No, that's okay. <laughs> Eli, we're counting on you. Oh, come on, Mr. Lamb. I'm just a backup goalie. That's all I should be. That's what I'm good at. So why don't you just get somebody else for me to back up? Look, Eli, 
The reason you're our backup is because you're the second best goalie on the team. And you see, being on a team means sometimes you have to play. <laughs> and I know you can do it. Well, I am pretty good in practice. Oh, maybe I can do it. I'm sure you can. And I want you to play. Hey, Norman. Yeah, just a second. And if I didn't mean that from the bottom of my heart, you know I wouldn't say it, right? Okay. Hey, Norman. Alfred passes makeup test. He can play tomorrow. All right! He can play! <laughs> Yay! Yeah! Now I have to decide whether or not to let Alfred play with a D. Oh, come on, Mr. Lamb. I'm happy for the team that Alfred's back. In a way, I'm happy this whole thing happened. Because now I know if I had to, I really could do it. Of course you could, Eli. We're all behind you. Yeah. Hey! Throw something at me! <laughs> Make way for the wall. I get that key to the teacher's bathroom? Uh, keep your pants on, Lamb. That's 90 seconds left in the game. <laughs> Hold them! Okay, guys, keep it up, keep it up. Stay in your positions. Keep it up. Let's go now. Norman, I think it's time for us to discuss our relationship. <laughs> well, it's important. We haven't been seeing very much of each other lately. Oh, look, honey, don't you think you're overreacting just a little? I just thought that it would be... Oh! What happened? What happened? Well, no, outside's got the ball and they're headed for our goal. How did that happen? Ma'am, you better keep your eye on the game because if we lose, you'll be answering nature's call at the shell station. <laughs> oh, hey, let's get all defense going out there. Norman. Uh, stay with him. Stay with him. Norman. What? <laughs> Hi, honey. I thought we were finished. I realize that this is not the most convenient time for us to talk, but I have a schedule, too. It was the only place that I could grab you. Look, Eileen, believe me. I don't like this any more than you do, but I have a job to do here. I've got to stay on top of things every minute. Oh! What happened? What happened? <laughs> there are these little harbor cruises through Mexico. We can spend some time. It's a breakaway. They're going to score. You don't have to look at the brochures right now. It's okay. Okay, we'll take the cruise to Mexico. All right. <laughs> Norman, when are we going to talk? Ten seconds to go. In ten seconds, I mean... Norman, if you don't care about our relationship, just tell me, okay? Why, Lee, of course I care. I'm just involved in this game at the moment. Look, this is the last game of the season. After this, I can concentrate on you and me. You promise? Promise. Now, let me get back to the game. The kids are depending on me. Uh, Norman, but... uh, Matthew, I am talking to your mother. Just let me... Why are you in the game? It's a point against us. Oh. Huh. Oh, he got a great goalie. Let him kick. That's what I have to tell you. I see most coaches would have noticed, but uh, Alfred got hurt. Real bad. I thought you might want to watch as they carried him off the field. Looks better if you pretend to care. Alfred's been hurt? Uh, yes, honey. He's the one limping. <laughs> Thank you, dear. But, but you gotta go back, Albert. We need you. Uh, try some tea for some Gatorade. Uh, some smelling sauce. Ah, but I twisted both of my ankles. All right. Cash. <laughs> Come on, where are you taking him? Huh? Wait a second. Baby, jump, wuss. We still got four seconds left. Now, what are you going to do? Eli. <laughs> this is all your fault, ma'am. Forget about the shell station. You see that tree over there by the gym? <laughs> Eli, look, I know you're scared. But the important thing to remember here is it's only a game. We're just here to have fun. No. That's all. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, Eli. You can do it. Just do your best. That's all you can do. Right. Okay, Eli. Now get out there and block that kick. Please. 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 Block that kick. Please.
Eli. 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 Yeah, now just do your best. That's all you can do. <laughs> you want to get a memory? Come on, come on. I got faith in you. You can do it. Go ahead. Rock that kick! Rock that kick! Please! 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 But in a larger sense, does it really matter whether or not Eli blocks this kick? Isn't it more important that he was finally made part of something as he'd always wished? So even if Eli does miss this block, it's not a tragedy, it's a triumph. A triumph of the human spirit. The writers and producers of It's Your Move. Okay, so sue us. We like the kids. <laughs>